I, I was thinking about this because James Bond has been not English before. Obviously, he's not English here. He's Sean Connery, <laughs> the quintessential Scotsman. Yeah. But you've also had a non-British James Bond, obviously, with Lazenby, who's Australian. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, why is that okay? Or why do we do that? But, like, why not a Canadian James Bond? And it's like, I'm thinking about this because I don't want an American James Bond. I want, at the very least, I want Commonwealth. But yeah, Canada but... is Commonwealth, so it's like, okay, maybe I could... Sm- I don't know, but I think you just need an accent, though. Exactly. And Australia so has an accent. Put on an accent, though. Lazy people you could get a Kiwi James accent. Bond, perhaps? <laughs> a James Bond yeah, from sure. South Africa, right? South Africa is still Commonwealth, I think. Uh, Yeah, I mean, you can't get a Barbadian James Bond anymore. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. That's, they, they missed out on our Rihanna James Bond um, film. <laughs> The way people talk about these movies, like, in the future, like, oh, they're going to have Jane Bond, they're going to have a black James Bond, and, like, that to me is, like, very Marvel, like, let's just keep this going no matter yeah. what. Yeah. I think I would be, that having been said, I think I'd be okay with a black James Bond, but, you know, it's not Idris Elba. Everyone has been talking about that for years. Idris Elba's, like, in his 50s. <laughs> You're not getting him for multiple movies. Yeah, exactly. It's done. Retire that idea, and... I actually have money on a younger black actor to be the next James Bond. I'm going to win a couple thousand pounds if that happens. I'm not going to share who that is because I don't want to influence the betting market. Um, (laughs) But I do have uh, Ladbrokes Casino. I've got money on that. Don't let me down, actor, who I'm not going to name right now, or rather studios. 